the connected consumer now has more information about your products and services than yourself. And that gives them control, the upper hand. You know we're all about themes here on Mad Money, and sometimes if you want to know about the cutting edge of the biggest themes out there, you need to go off the tape, check in with a privately held company that's leading the way. That's why I want to introduce you to Sprinkler. Drop the E there from the, it's KLR. One of the key players in the marketing cloud, which just raised $46 million last month, deal that uh, valued this rapidly growing company at over a billion bucks. Sprinkler is a social media management software provider, which gives its customers complete, fully integrated technology platform that helps uh, them create, manage, and optimize social media interactions with their customers. This is the future of marketing in the age of social media. So let's take a closer look with Raji Thomas. He's the founder and CEO of Sprinkler. Learn more about his company in the intersection of cloud computing and social media. Mr. Thomas, welcome to May of Money. Good to see you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Likewise. Have a seat. Okay, so my first question would be is, why haven't the social media people like a, a Facebook or, uh, or more importantly, a Twitter done this themselves? And, and how did you get in there and they haven't? Well, uh, there are 20 plus social networking channels that Sprinkler supports. So while LinkedIn is great at uh, all professional stuff and Facebook is great at personal stuff and Twitter is great at connecting with strangers, brands have a unique challenge they almost have to listen to every channel and conversations that are happening around the web and they need one interface to be able to do that because they can't train their customer care folks on every one of these channels and the new ones that are coming down. Okay, now there are some very, uh, that you've published, uh, Fortune 500 companies, you work with a lot of Fortune 500 companies, but let me ask you about McDonald's. They, they introduced yesterday some new burgers. Immediately, my friend David Fabers, but that isn't what they want. And, and uh, while I'm at a party this week, says, "Oh my God, that's the last thing that that, 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 that that McDonald's needs to do." You would actually have a better idea whether that's the last thing they would need to do or not, right? You may be the best source. Well, they now know using our platform, so they are the best source because we're a technology provider. Right. But what? Our platform allows a company like McDonald's to do is instead of relying on a survey or a focus group of 20 people, they can now listen to millions of conversations that are going on about the burger they just introduced. And millions, what not just the Twitter uh, that's all over, Facebook, Twitter, there, wherever it's public. Blogs you know. all over the web. We track about 300 million different sources and help brands understand what is it that they like. Not that they just like the new burger, which part of the burger do they like? What part of the experience um, should they tune up and what part should they keep and build on? Okay, so uh, tell me why they should use you rather than have their five-person team at their own company. Well, they should use their five-person team and the five-person team should be using us. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what we- your tools. We are uh, enterprise software right. product. Right that these large companies use across their customer care, across their marketing, across their sales team, and across their recruiting team. Essentially, their entire front office. Well, I've got to tell you, I said, I've been talking to a lot of people at IBM. IBM is saying that they can perform this function too. Very similar to you. Have they approached you, or do you think that they can't catch you? There's a lot of big companies that want to and are playing in the space. Right. There's, uh, I believe that this is the next big enterprise software opportunity. Uh, we've built our current front office functionality, the sales, the marketing infrastructure, the call centers, um, all of that over the past 50 years. And in the last 10 years, consumers have completely done 180, right. where they refuse to call in and wait in on the phone for you. Okay, but now, I, I, here's the only reason I'm thinking this is because I'm just wondering whether there isn't someone who says, look, these guys can't do it, they don't have the scale, they're not big enough. Because on the one hand, if you want to come public, you basically want to, people want a profitable company. But on the other hand, it seems like your end's growing so fast, it would be outrageous if you tried to be profitable. You have to spend as much money to keep the other guys out, don't you? 
We do, but we have a phenomenal business model. When a company, a SaaS company, a software as a services company like ours, right. grows the way we do, okay. tripling, quadrupling, there's a lot of revenue coming in that allows us to fund our business organically in addition to the uh, capital that we've taken from outside. Well, well, look, I gotta tell you, you guys are in the sweet spot. I know Salesforce.com wants to be there. I think I said IBM. A lot of people gunning for you. Uh, and it's also possible that one of them could buy you. I'm sure that it, every, you know, when you're at that stage, anything could happen. But you are exactly at the epicenter of where people have to be right now. That's Raji Thomas. He's the founder and CEO of Sprinkler. I want you to read about it. There's a lot of good articles. You can Google it. There's a good piece in Forbes, too. May have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.